Welcome to our regulatory update, April 2024. In this edition of our regulatory update, we delve into the latest developments shaping various sectors, from corporate governance to legal ethics and financial compliance. Join us as we explore key changes introduced by the company's house, the Solicitors Regulation Authority and HM Treasury. Let's dive into the regulatory landscape for April 2024. Firstly, let's discuss ACSPs. Companies House has implemented stricter identity verification measures for key individuals within businesses, directors, significant controllers, and those submitting returns are now required to undergo identity verification. This process can be facilitated through authorized corporate service providers or directly with Companies House. Notably, solicitors have the option to become ACSPs upon approval from Companies House, with the discretion to engage in this type of work. The next update is that the Solicitors Regulation Authority has introduced a new rule emphasizing fair treatment and respect among colleagues and staff. This directive, articulated in Rule 1.6 for law firms and 1.5 for individuals, underscores the importance of fostering a professional and respectful work environment. It specifically addresses issues of anti-bullying and anti-harassment, signaling a commitment to upholding ethical standards within the legal profession. Next is that the HM Treasury has initiated a broad consultation encompassing several key areas. Money laundering regulations. The consultation seeks feedback on potential simplifications or improvements to the money laundering regulations. This includes assessing the need for further guidance in areas such as client due diligence and the verification of the source of funds. Regulation of crypto assets. With the evolving landscape of crypto assets, the consultation explores the regulatory framework for crypto asset providers. Currently, these providers are not regulated under the Financial Services and Markets Act, FSMA, prompting a discussion on potential regulatory adjustments to address this gap. Trust registration requirements. The consultation examines the existing requirements for trust registration, particularly for non-UK express trusts owning UK land. Proposals include mandating registration for trusts without UK trustees that own UK land, with the aim of establishing a more cohesive and transparent registration process. These consultations underscore the government's commitment to refining regulatory frameworks in line with evolving economic and technological landscapes. Stakeholder engagement and feedback will play a crucial role in shaping future regulatory policies in these areas. As we conclude our regulatory update for April 2024, it's evident that staying abreast of regulatory changes is crucial for legal practices and professionals navigating today's dynamic legal landscape. From enhanced identity verification requirements to a renewed focus on workplace ethics and ongoing consultations on anti-money laundering measures, crypto regulation and trust registration, the regulatory environment continues to evolve. If you would like to stay up to date on these changes, Datalaw will be hosting a SRA Regulatory and Compliance Spring Update live webinar on the 22nd of May at 1pm. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to bringing you more insights next month.